G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today what we have in for review is uh, one of Bonsai's new uh, release RCs. This one's called the Intrepid, as you can see at the top right hand corner of the box here. And uh, you probably remember last year, uh, Bonsai RC actually sent me out their Jebatus uh, 114 scale buggy. Now this one is a 114 scale truck that they've uh, just released. So I'd like to say thanks once again to Bonsai RC for sending this one in for review today to feature on the channel for you guys. Now as you can see here, this is a four-wheel drive uh, truck. It runs off a 390 brush motor. It's a ready-to-run kit and runs off a 2.4 gigahertz system. And they're claiming on the bottom of the box here that it has got a speed of 35 plus kilometers an hour, guys. So uh, let's take a quick look at uh, some of the specifications on the box and then uh, take a closer look at the truck and then I'll take it for a test run. All right, now on one side of the box, they've got all the specifications of this new Intrepid uh, Bonsai truck. As you can see here, we've got a whole chassis diagram and uh, showing the rear independent suspension there. They're stating it's got mini big bore shocks with progressive spring design and adjustable shock rates. So what that actually means, they're referring to the little uh, adjustable rings uh, that you can adjust uh, high or low to uh, adjust the dampening of the actual shock rate, uh, whether you want it firmer or softer. Now, I believe these uh, shocks are still friction shocks, they're not oil filled. From memory, they perform pretty well on the buggy. Same applies to the front independent suspension there. They've written the exact same thing as the rear. Uh, we've got an 850 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Now, I believe this is the exact same lithium ion pack that came with the Jebatus 114 scale buggy. And it says here it's got a 15C uh, discharge rate, okay. High grip wheels, adaptable to all terrain. We have a 390 brushed motor on this one. Once again, just like the Jebatus buggy um, of last year. It says it delivers 22,000 RPM and it is a 7.4 volt rated uh, motor here, guys. So I suggest you don't try 3S on this particular RC, okay. Now it looks like they still got the same 3.5 kilogram rated steering servo, which have been uh, on their other previous models as well, the 110 scale truck, as well as the Jebatus uh, 14 scale buggy. And it says it's got a built-in servo saver. Now in the middle of the box here, we have some more photos here of uh, everything that I've just gone through. And on the far right of the box here, we have the uh, photo of the transmitter, which is a standard transmitter that they've used on their previous models as well. And they're stating the uh, control range distance is 100 meters, which is pretty good. It takes four AA batteries, as you can see. Okay, so let's open the box and have a closer look at the Intrepid 114 scale truck. Okay, guys, so what comes in the box is the instruction manual, okay, for the Bonsai 1416 Intrepid truck as you can see we've got the standard usb charger and a plastic uh, wheel wrench to take the uh, nuts off the wheels we also have a sticker sheet to apply with the bonsai stickers they look pretty cool nice and bright yellow now to the transmitter guys which i just actually explained on the side of the box uh it's the standard wl toy style fully proportional transmitter you have your uh dual rate for your throttle so you can adjust it whether you want it fast or slow You've got the standard uh, steering trim on the side there and your on and off switch and bind button with a nice foam grip controller. Okay, let's have a look at the Intrepid truck here guys from Bonsai RC. Looks pretty cool. I like the design already of this truck. Okay, now it does have what I believe to be friction shocks but they're actually pretty firm. It doesn't look too bad actually guys. Got some nice tyres there. They look pretty grippy like they say on the box. Let's have a look. They are not foam filled, but uh, they should do the job quite well off-road. Okay, so I've just taken off the shell. Here's a closer look at it. It's really cool. I love the design of this one. It's actually got, if you look closer, like a carbon fibre honeycomb sort of look to it. Really cool. Now you have to take the uh, protective film on. They're actually telling you here on this sticker uh, before applying the stickers, all right guys? So just peel the film off, which I'll do, and uh, you can apply the stickers to the truck. 
Okay, now here it is here guys. So we've got the same, uh, pretty much the same setup as the Jebatus buggy. 35 amp ESC receiver combo on the top. I'd say this is only rated for 2S, so don't even bother trying 3S because even the motor there um, actually saying that it's a 2S rated motor, okay? So we've got the 390 motor there, brushed motor. Looks like they're using the same mini Tamiya plugs uh, for the battery and the ESC. Now, a good thing about this 35 amp ESC receiver combo is that you can see they've got a three uh, wire pinout plug, okay? So what that means is that um, if you want to upgrade the uh, servo on this one, because it's a five wire from factory, you can just throw in another aftermarket uh, 110 scale three wire servo and just plug it in straight there and it'll work with this receiver ESC combo. As you can see here, I've just taken the battery out. It is the 850 milliamp hour lithium ion pack, which is rated at 15C discharge with the Bonsai labeling on it. All right, guys. Now, fairly small battery, I know, but uh, if you take out this little foam block, you can actually fit a rather decent sized battery in here, guys. It looks like it could accommodate maybe a 1500 milliamp hour LiPo, okay? Uh, all you'd have to do is make sure you have a actual converter plug. So if you've got like a Dean's plug at LiPo, which I do have many of them, I've actually got the adapters that can uh, plug straight into this uh, Tamiya uh, mini plug here so I can use LiPos, all right, guys? So uh, yeah, there you go. Okay guys, so hopefully you can see that the camera uh, flashlight is uh, shining on a part of the metal drive shaft just there in the center. Okay, so uh, this does have a metal drive shaft. It is painted black, so it's a little bit hard to see, but yeah, we've got a metal drive shaft in there at least. All right guys, well I went ahead and uh, pulled the protective film off and stick it up the Bonsai RC Intrepid. I think it looks pretty cool now with all the stickers on there. I just copied what was on the uh, box art. And while I was doing that, I uh, charged up the lithium ion pack. So I was ready to go for its uh, test run. So I'll catch you out at the field and we'll test out the new Bonsai Intrepid 114 scale RC truck. Okay guys, I got the Bonsai RC Intrepid truck here. It's 114 scale. Let's see how it performs. Running off that little uh, lithium ion pack. Do a quick range test here. Pretty decent. They do state 100 meters range. So great acceleration for a uh, little 390 brush. It's handling quite well on the uh, friction shocks as well. I believe uh, Bonsai RC did actually release a video for their buggy version, the Jebatus buggy, on their YouTube channel of how to actually fill these particular shocks up with oil. So even though they're friction shocks, you can fill them with oil apparently, from what I've seen anyway. Handles really well. Oh, bit of a tumble there. Well, let's have a look at how it goes in the uh, off-road terrain on the wood chips. See how it goes in here. Not a problem for this little guy.
Goes great off the rain. Okay, let's see how it goes on the hard compact sand here. Okay, I think, well, that's the battery done, guys. Unfortunately, uh, it is only a small 800 milliamp hour lithium ion pack. So, uh, as you can see, it's in LVC mode already. So, pretty short uh, run time, which was to be expected. Pretty sure the Jebatus uh, buggy that I reviewed last year was uh, pretty much the same as far as uh, run time. You know, I was full throttle pretty much the whole video there. But, uh, yeah. With a LiPo, um, you know, you can increase your run time. I have got a couple of uh, 15 and 1600 milliamp hour Dean's plug LiPos that I'll use on this truck next time. Uh, definitely gonna double the actual run time and it should give it an even better performance uh, over the lithium ion pack. Even though the run time is a bit lacking with the small 800 milliamp hour lithium ion pack that comes with it, overall I think this is a great little truck actually. It performed rather well with the little, uh, brush system in it. It's only a little 390 motor. Um, as you can see, 35 amp ESC, rated to 7.4 volts. And uh, I think overall it performed really well, actually, um, on all these terrain that I took it on. So uh, even though it was for a fairly short time, um, the friction shocks were a little bit bouncy, but as you can see, it didn't um, tumble over that much at all, really. Uh, it dampened quite well. And um, like I said before, I think you can pretty much fill these with oil uh, which is on a video on Bonsai RC's uh, YouTube which I might link in the description below so you can check that out and you understand what I'm talking about uh, refers to the Jebatus buggy which is exactly the same uh, chassis pretty much as this truck okay guys so the tires were very grippy um, had no problems with grip especially out here on the lawn and in the wood chips there and on the sand and uh, yeah overall Great little truck, guys. Um, I don't think there's any links apart from Bonsai RC's website. So I'll link that uh, in the description below. You can check this out on the Bonsai RC website. I'd like to thank Bonsai RC for sending this one out for review once again. It was great to get the opportunity to check out this new model and uh, feature on the channel for you guys to watch. So guys, if I happen to find any links uh, online, like at places like AliExpress, I don't believe uh, Banggood have got this one on their um, listings at the moment but I'm pretty sure they are going to list this one in the future on their website but uh, yeah if I find any links I'll definitely link it in the description below like I said I don't even know the price that this one is going for as yet uh, it was sent to me from Bonsai C directly so on the next video of this uh, Bonsai Intrepid truck guys I will be doing a speed test uh, we'll see exactly what sort of speeds we get off this stock lithium ion battery whether it will be close to that 35 kilometer an hour claim. Plus I'll try it out on a 2S LiPo and we'll see exactly what it can get on those two different batteries. So until next time, enjoy the hobby. If you happen to be new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more RC content from my channel when I upload it. So till next time guys, have a good one and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.